Hi, this is Texture. Let's start selecting Texture from Windows menu. Select the text layer you want to apply Texture to and press the Add Anim button to add an animator. Texture will generate an animator with its own two speed keyframes. Select it in the list to see all the animation properties arranged on three different tabs. To start animating position Y, for example, just move the related property slider here and it's done. To control the speed of the animation, move the animator keyframes. Now let's go to the behavior panel and tweak the animation style. I'm going to set based on property on characters, so the animation will be executed on every single character. Let's change these properties to soften the animation. Ease and only. Better and add some frame delay. I will add rotation on Z axis. Hmm, it takes too much. Let's reset the delay. To reset the property, you only need to click on the property name button. Just click that. Much better. Now let's talk about the layer anchor, which does set the anchor point by element. From line to words, and from words to characters. So now we got animation based on single characters with an anchor point for every character. Let's push bounds here. Mm, I don't like the rotation bounds. Let's add it only on position property. To do that, I need to put position and rotation animation on two different animators. Let's reduce bounce to zero and duplicate the animator by clicking on duplicate button. You will get a perfect clone of the original animator with all the modified properties and keyframes. Disable the duplicate for a moment by double clicking on the animator related check mark. Now you can't use the animator and it won't affect the animation until you enable it again. Let's reset the position and make text appear from scale 0. That's nice. I rename the animator by clicking on the rename button here, so I can remember the animated properties. Let's focus on position and bounce on duplicate animator. Reset the rotation, of course. And add bounce, which will be now generated only by the position movement. Good! Let's join the animators. Pretty good. Rename to position bounce in. Oh, I can move the animators up and down with the up and down buttons here. I am happy with the animation. I'll save it in the preset panel. I just need to be sure that the text layer is selected, otherwise Texture will alert me. Click on the save icon and name the animation. That's it, preset saved. I can remove the animators by clicking on the trash button. Ok, now look at the properties. To fully reset one or more animators, I can use the reset button. It will reset all the animators properties at once. To undo and redo, use the buttons on top. And to remove texture from the text layer completely, press the Remove All button.
it will delete all the stuff generated by Textor. Well, let's have a quick look at the FX panel. Here there are all the other properties Textor lets me animate, like skew, tracking, blur, Ok, remove texture again and talk about I add a wiggle here on the wiggle button. The wiggle animator can animate the same properties but generating chaos. Let's start animating the scale property. As you can see here, the scale value limit is 100%. But don't worry. I can change the maximum value for every property in this column. Now the slider scale limit is 300%, positive and negative. Let's come back, I will show you a faster way. I can set the maximum value directly in the value box. Textor will set the new limit for me. Well, let's see what Wiggle does. Let's base it on characters. And reverse the animation here. Push the speed limit a bit. Okay. Rename it as Wiggle Out and disable it. So I can work on the opacity anim. Let's move the keyframes at the end of the animation and set the opacity to zero. Base it on characters. Better. Reverse. And invert the start and end animation order. Is. Perfect. Rename the opacity animator and save the animation as my anim out. Well. To apply a saved preset, I can press the apply button or double click on the preset. Apply. Yes, the preset will be applied starting from where the time bar is. I will put the out preset here. What happened? Well, when Textor applies a preset, it replaces the animation. Let's try again. Let's try again, but holding on shift when clicking on apply button or double clicking on the preset. Textor asks me to add, not to apply the preset. Now all the animators are present. I'm gonna save the preset and I will call it my anim in out. Okay, let's duplicate the layer 
and change source text to animation made easy. Select both layers and apply the in-out preset. I can apply texture presets to multiple layers at once. Random animation generator. Yes, texture can. Add an animator and click on the random button. Texture will generate random values for all the checkmark properties on this column. Let's see it in action. Let's reset and hold on the shift key when pressing the random button. It will deselect the random option for all the properties. Nothing happens now. I will randomize a couple of properties. With opacity to zero. If you focus on the keyframes, you see that they are not randomized. That's because I have to set the keys time option to on. Now it works. As you can see, the keyframes random range is limited by these two markers. If I hold on shift and I click two times on the random button, I will reset the random check marks to the default values. I like it. I will save it as random in. When I decide to save a new preset and the preset is already selected, Textor will ask me to overwrite the preset. That's the way you can update the preset. The rename button will let me rename the preset. Call in out. Now let's export the presets to a file. Textor will ask me to select the presets first. And then it will ask me the name and the location for the presets file. Done. Well, let's remove all the presets. The presets are gone. Import them from the text file. Textor will ask me to select the presets to import. They are back again. What does it mean that Textor calculates all the values keeping in mind text layers scale and composition sides? Here it is a 4K composition. Well, when I apply the in-out preset, the animation will be like it was before on the HD composition. Texture values are relative to composition sides. On the About tab, you can find all texture keyboard shortcuts. That's all guys. Enjoy texture. Thank you.